This arithmetic reasoning practice test question for the ASVAB and PyCat says a cardboard box has a length of 3 feet, height of 2.5 feet, and width of 2 feet. If the length and width are doubled, by what percent does the volume of the box change? So in this case, it's pretty obvious that we're comparing the volume of two uh, cardboard boxes. As it happens, a cardboard box is a rectangular prism. And the formula you, we use to calculate the volume of a rectangular prism is length times width times height. Again, on the ASVAB and PyCat, you're not given a reference sheet or a calculator, so you do have to commit some of these basic formulas, including how to calculate the volume of a rectangular prism to memory at some point. Uh, what is the length of our box? It's 3 feet. Its width is 2 feet, and its height is 2.5 feet. So let's calculate the volume of this first box. Um, 2 times 2.5 is something you should be able to, be able to do mentally. Uh, 2.5 plus 2.5 is going to be 5. So 2 times 2.5 is 5. This becomes 3 times 5. 3 times 5 is 15. So we can see the volume of this first box is going to be 15. Let's, calcu let's calculate the volume of the second box. Again, according to the problem, the length and width are doubled. So the length of our first box is 3. 3 times 2 is 6. So the new length is 6. The width is also doubled. The width is 2. 2 times 2 is 4, and its height remains 2.5. You should also be able to do 4 times 2.5 mentally. Again, that's going to be 2.5, 5, 7.5, 10. So this becomes 6 times 10. That said, you could always do it off to the side if you prefer doing it. That way, it's just a little bit slower. 6 times 10 is 60. So the volume of the second box is 60. Now, we want to know by what percent does the volume of the box change. So we're going to use the percent change formula, which says take your new value, subtract that by your old value, divide that by your old value, and multiply that by 100 to get your percent. So let's go ahead and do that. Our new value is 60. Our old value is 15. We're going to divide this by 15 and multiply it by 100 to get our percent. 60 minus 15 is going to be 45. 45 divided by 15 times 100 will get us our percent. 45 divided by 15 is 3. 3 times 100% gives us a percent change of 300%. So this one is going to be B.